Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. So today is basically I am going to explain SQL table creations for beginners. Today we will walk you through some step by step process of creating a tables in SQL. So first of all basically you need to use some editor, SQL editor or software that is available into your system. This could be a like maybe MySQL Workbench or maybe SQL Yog or maybe some other there are some lot of available studios actually SQL studios or SQL editor that is there that maybe you can use. Next we will use some create table statement to create a new table. Start by specifying the table name followed by the column names and data types for each column actually. Right, let's say like first of all if we if we uh, want to create any tables called students and the field name like ID, first name, last name, age, class, all those information we need to provide over there. So make sure to define the data types of each column such as like maybe int for integers, varchar for text, if we want to store some text uh, field, text data into the any particular column then maybe we need to define that as a varchar. After defining all the columns, we can add some constant over there. So this about the adding the constants and updating the constants, removing the constants. So and what are the, what are the different types of constant available for the SQL? That also I will cover in my next tutorial. Today only I'm going to cover like how you are going to create the table. So basically like what uh, actually I'm going to cover in this tutorial. So I've listed some points over here. Let's say like first of all, you will going to understand how you're going to create any tables and how you are going to defining the columns names over there. Then I will show how to select the data from the table. Like maybe once we have created the students table, let's say, then select star from table, something like that. Like that's why like I'm written over here, like how we're going to select the data from the table once the table is got created into the database then how we can like rename or maybe what is the functionalities of drop or what is the target uh, what are those functionalities so that also i will show in this tutorial if we want to once the table is created got created maybe then we need to like add or rename so once we have created a table then after creation of the table if we want to add any column into the existing table or maybe if we want to rename a, uh, any columns or maybe if we want to modify the particular column column actually then how we are going to achieve this one then if we want to like let's say like we have created one column into the search position but that is not the correct actually okay so we need to change the position of the particular column so then how we can achieve this one how we can do this using this sql then also there is I will show you like how you are going to drop any column. So this kind of things I am going to cover today in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's create those things in the any SQL editor. So for SQL like creating any SQLs or maybe if we want to create any tables as a SQL editor, I am using this SQL yog. But you guys can use any editor like MySQL Workbench or any other SQL Server Management Studios or any other SQL platform that you are using. That is fine. So let's say like if we want to create any table. So what is the syntax for this? So for that like we can use this create then table. After that we need to provide the table name. So I was seeing the students. So students actually already available over here. Let me see if it's having any data or not. Uh, we can't. Okay let it let it be. We can create another table over here. Let's say uh, employees is not here. So let's try with this employees. Okay. Employees. Okay. Next, we will give this first parenthesis and then we need to close this one. Okay. And here we need to put this comma semicolon. Here basically we need to define the different types of columns of this particular employee table. So let's say it's ID. So obviously ID will be a integer. Okay. Next we can define the first name. 
okay and first name will be a text so for that we need to define as a varchar and here we need to provide the length like what will be the length of this first name so let's say it will be 100 but that can be very based on your the maximum length of this like your name let's say if you uh, max first name is maximum length would be the 100 then we can define as this the 100 if it is take the more then we need to increase the size over here so it will be again a varchar because the here we are going to store any text right then it will be 100 then after this maybe let's say salary so the salary will be actually basically decimal correct so we can provide this decimal and here basically we need to give something let's say five comma two decimal point we need to store over here so like five till five we need to support and then we need to use as something like like uh, two decimal point supported and then like joining date joining underscore date and it will be a date field okay so once we have done then we need to execute this one so let me select this one and then we need to execute so like this we need to execute this query either f9 we can use as a shortcut or like we can press this one so you can see the one query is executed one success zero errors so this basically table is got like created now if i refresh this one then you can see this employees table is got created now if we select the data from over here select star from em plo y y double -E s employees so we need to execute this one for fetching the data okay employee table doesn't exist em this one okay as you can see over here it's uh, return as these details but as we don't have any record over here so that's why it's not returning any data in next it will actually i'll going to store the data over here how we're going to insert any record into this particular table so that i will show you i will explain over there but for the time being this is the syntax for fetching the data from this particular table now if we want to rename this employee tables with some other name then how we are going to rename this one so for that rename is a like there is one command then rename then table then we need to like from and to like from which name we need to convert this one like this is the employees to let's say demo underscore this okay just to like uh, demo purpose or uh, just to explain the things i am trying to this one so actually rename table table name from and to like in which table name we need to like uh, rename this one so you can see rename table this one and this executed one success so that means this is success now if we refresh this one you can see the demo employees is renamed over here means from employees to demo employee now we can rename this one it means revert these things okay again we can revert this one now if we try to like execute this one so it will not able to because this saying that employees not exists but if we try to fetch data using this new name new table then we can get the result over here again i am renaming this demo underscore employees to employee okay let me execute this one it is done now now again we can fetch data from this table it will now execute yeah so in this way basically we can rename the table next how we are going to drop and like truncate any data so for drop basically drop table and then table name so for drop actually basically we can use this one drop table and table name okay using this we can drop the table let me execute this one drop table one query execute is success so now if we refresh this one we will not get any empl employee related tables over here because we have using this drop now again i can need to create this table one again now if i refresh this one then again i can see the employee table got created over here next like what is the difference between the drop and truncate truncate means if this particular table having any data if we use the truncate then it will only data, delete the data from this particular table but drop if we want to using the drop then it will basically drop the table also and data also data with the table it will delete all the things 
but truncate only truncate the data from this particular table it will keep the table as is only it will erase all the data from that particular table so this is the only difference between the drop and truncate the truncate I can use the syntax for this one like instead of drop truncate trunk it okay this is the things even from here also there is a one options like uh, more table operations here you can see the truncate one okay so if we execute it will really really want to truncate the tables you will lose the data yes so it will actually truncate the data from there okay okay so next we will see like how we are going to add any extra columns if we want to like add any after creation of the tables if we want to add any extra fields into this existing table how we are going to do this one so for that alter keyword is there alter table table name okay and then add column name so let's say mobile okay and then here we need to provide the like data type varchar 10 okay so in this way basically we can add the any new fields over here if i execute these things you can see it's added over here now if we select the data from this employee table we can see this mobile is added over here okay we can also rename this one so for renaming basically how we are going to rename this one rename this uh, fields like alter table table name and then here we can see like uh, rename rename this uh, column okay and this mobile to let's say mobile to phone okay if i execute this one let's what it is saying all the tables what mobile phone number actually this rename basically used in this uh, oracle database so in mysql the thing is that we need to use this change keyword over here and then here uh, like this old column to new column and then here also we need to we can define this size or data type of this one okay so now if we execute this one it will modify or it will you can see is this executed successfully and we can successfully rename this mobile fields to the phone number phone underscore number now if we select this one to check you can see the mobile number modified to the phone underscore number so this is the thing like in mysql basically we can use this one alter table table name then change column mobile to phone number and then we need to define this data type of this field so this is the thing that for like uh, rename or any column if we want to rename so in this way basically we can like define this one okay so now like if we want to like uh, modify any uh, what you can say like if we want to change the positions of any column into somewhere else so for that also we can do how we are going to do this one let's see like this uh, phone number field we need to uh, done be after sell okay so how we can do this one okay so let's see over here then alter table table names then we can use this modify modify column and then uh, so here there is a another syntax like after salary okay so now if we that means what you can modify this column after this okay after this field 
okay unknown call okay here basically the name is to phone number okay so now we can see this we have modified this phone number column it should be after after this salary so here if we execute this you can see after salary it's moved over here previously it was after the joining date but now basically it is after the salary so that is also you can do using this command in mysql right so these are the things that we can achieve if we want to drop this particular column so that also you can do so for that uh, like alter alter table table name okay and then here we need to drop column and then column name let's say phone underscore number okay okay it got deleted from this particular table like this uh, field this column actually got deleted from this employee table now if we select this one then you can see this table field actually not available over here okay so this is the things like these are the uh, like things that we can uh, like we can do over here so i what i've explained over here like how we can uh, create the tables and uh, how we are going to rename these tables drop this particular tables truncate the tables how we are going to alter add any columns over there or if we want to uh, change the data type that also we can achieve over here so like uh, just to like uh, if we i hope you guys can understand over here that way i'm what i am trying to explain over here and also just to remember one thing practice makes perfect so keep the experience with this creating tables to sharpen your sql skills and uh, like uh, if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment sections obviously like uh, i will try to cover those things in my next tutorial i will uh, uh, like uh, i will explain how what is constant basically and how we are going to uh, add those constant into the table what are the different types of options for adding those things i will explain all those things all those stops over here thanks for your time thank you don't forget to subscribe my channel please please press the bell icon thank you bye bye